yeah with everything um that led up to that point so how did it how did it come uh into fruition with you on in militia i got called um by someone who was representing emmanuel dean he has passed uh since then rest in peace emmanuel dean but he's the producer who did the track for for militia Mm -hmm. And um, I came to the studio, I brought Mr. Tan with me. That's my partner at the time. It's just me and Mr. Tan. We're a duo, but we got introduced to a situation where a group had a deal with Red Ant and they, you know, was trying to put some more fuel in it and make some more songs and things like that. So that's what we came to do. We came in um, and joined forces with the militia, but we're still all individual solo artists and things like that. So, um, that was very successful for the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? We did right. really good. You know, we was on numbers of shows and this is why I'm here with you because you grabbed some militia footage from <laughs> the Sinbad show we did. And God is the greatest. I was just excited to see it because, you know, things like that haven't been up on, on YouTube or anywhere. I've never really seen any of our work. You know what I'm saying? We've been on Jenny Jones and Ricky Lake and, oh my God, there's so many other shows that we right. have, nobody has the footage and you amazing as you are you put the footage up and, and i got tagged in it and i was like wow this is amazing right here. that this, is that is the the beauty of daily throwback classes now we're gonna get into this clip so i want to know what was going through <laughs> <laughs> what was going through your mind when you seen this clip because it's like it came oh out of the thing out of nowhere me posting it, I had no idea me posting these clips, the people in the clips was actually going to come, <laughs> you know, come up. I'm like, oh, wow. Okay, exactly. so first, before we get into that, I want to talk touch on the fact that a lot of people was on the Sinbad show. Now, I know y'all was on yes. Sinbad show, Soul Train, Jenny Jones. Yes, Soul Train. People yes. don't realize that if you was on any of these shows back then, you was the shit. Period. <laughs> Period. Like, I love Soul Train. So when we was on Soul Train, I was just like, oh my God, I am so happy to be here. Y'all moving out. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, with the Burn song. For real. I remember, because cause when the Burn song came out, that was probably around the time I first started burning. So of course hey, I had to capture, hey. I had to get that on, I had to get that on, on wax. So, oh my goodness. That was classic. That was my energy. song. And that was real hip hop energy everywhere we went. If they was, it, you know, weed is universal. We met a lot of songs <laughs> out there, and um, salute to them because a lot of them are still rolling with us to this day. You know, they still right just because right of that and bring that that the stoner unity together. Because my exactly. my young ass was definitely jamming to it. <laughs> and I'm keeping it going. I, I, I'm keeping it going from burn to the up and smoke. Then I got green right. like that green with ice cube. So, you know, it's a lot of smoke songs coming still. I, I got a few new ones. Okay, yeah, we're going to get into the new stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I know that was probably weird to see that, that footage that footage was, that was not on YouTube or anywhere. It was nowhere. <laughs> it was nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> So I just I, I want to get it. like I want to get your feedback of you even seeing that on on Facebook. I tell you, look, look at Lord G and Tan on the, the wall right here. This is mm -hmm. how classic this was. I can't I tagged both of them when I saw it. And I was just screaming like, you know what? We was not playing no games, you know. <laughs> it was right. like that was our energy every time. So, you know, just watching that brought back a, a lot of memories. Yeah, so how did it can I get like a little, I guess, background story of that day of you guys in the clip? Like, how was that day when y'all about to be on vibe? Like Prince was on vibe. Shaka Khan was I on know. vibe. Like Whoa. all these for real people was on this show. So what was that like even this preparing is, to be on here? It's our to be with our peers. And it's like, we're all just feeling like we have an opportunity here. We want to show our best. We want to be our best. We want to look our best. 
fast. You should have seen us getting ready. Just all the guys are, was so cool, just figuring out what we was going to wear, how we was going to coordinate it. And me just being the only female, it's always easy for me. I'm going to get fly up, and they're going to have to just roll with how I roll. So I just kept it real simple and sexy because I wanted people to really realize it's a lady that's in this group, not all men, a female that spits that a queen that really knows what she's about. That was holding it down because that dress was cute because I liked thank it you. right there. I was like, oh, I like her dress. And I and I'm gonna put a little you. clip of that in here. And I remember we spoke briefly a while back, and uh, I guess you said you was gonna give some little, I guess, un unspoken um, behind the scenes uh -huh. tea for everybody. Yeah, because we're doing some great things now independently. It's just the three of us as all stars, the original members. You know, I, I did hear about Devious trying to come back. He kind of had a slight breakdown in his business. And I can understand, you know what I mean? It's a lot of egos in this business, you know? So we get to our journey where we're getting an award. And, you know, this comes down to L.A. And he's like, you know, a part of this mission. But when he gets in there, like, I done already dropped. I'm independent now. I done been on a Verizon commercial. This ain't Militia Days no more. I'm literally Miss Toy from You Could Do It. They don't even ask me about Militia. You know what I'm saying? So when we on the scene and I live in this area, it's people that's like, you got the uh, Warrior CD? I'm literally going in my backpack getting money from everybody while before I walk in the club. He just now seeing us for the first time, and I understand this was kind of feeling like, damn, they don't know me. But, you know, he pull up in this bins and shit. You know, we get out in the fucking, you know, the van and shit. We, we artists. We ain't tripping about no damn, you know, what we driving in right now. We about to go in here and get a war. So um, we get in there, and I go to the bar. Somebody else, like, you got the CD. I'm, like, chilling. I ain't even really got a chance to walk around the club i'm making money when i walk in this is what it's right. about if they know me and i'm independent they supposed to be supporting my music i always fuss with everybody like y'all don't support the females y'all don't do this now i'm doing it and one of my partners that's supposed to be proud of us seeing is going down but he don't really look like he happy for us so with the the host and everything they out there talking they keep saying miss mr tam is so you know and i have to go up there and tell them say his name you know like i'm feeling some kind of way for him like he, this is his group originally and we done took over his group is what he feeling like but we didn't we came and played our position and did our thing right so later on that night after we get the award he not even on the war girl they did him so wrong i ain't gonna lie but this the real person come out after that so he texts me it's four in the morning but he tell me i'm trying to you know, use his group to come up off of stuff. And, you know, he started texting me some real foul shit. Like, I'm just, just trying to use the militia. First of all, fuck the militia. Recently, I played the goddamn remix on my show on Lovely Radio, and underneath it, some Hispanic's name came up. So them niggas don't even own the damn song. Had a nerd to be cussing me out about a motherfucking song and what a group did. And I own 33.3% of You Can Do It. You can miss me. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get into that. So, 
I don't own this song, so this ain't my business. That's your business. You need to get on top of your business. So coming at me about the militia, that was just my intro to the game so I can go do what I'm really supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. when people come to you, you got to make sure they know what the fuck they talking about. First of all, you got to put your music out. You got to know if you own your shit first. That's a whole label situation, and it was a hot mess anyway, but it was my intro, and I appreciate it. So there go your dirt right there a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so... Pretty much, like say, so what are the members of Militia doing now? We're going to get into everything you doing now, but before we close yeah. the Militia chapter, like, Man. what are they up to now? I think you said yeah. one of them was pimping. <laughs> well, yeah, the, the one we're talking about is the pimp. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be worried about it because, you know, he out there pimping on the girls, you know, thinking that's where the money been the whole time. The, the yeah. money been in your music player, you feel me? You're not going to pimp me, is what it is. <laughs> Right. And the game got taught by people who he thought that was square because, you know, people think they popular, they got all the money, they think they cool, you know what I'm saying? But when you're really cool is when you listen and you learn from the background first. And then you go do your damn thing. And that's what I did. And I fucked with them. I do what I, I had to do, you know what I'm saying? As a female, I protected myself knowing my mm -hmm. business first. Exactly. I don't care who liked me. I just got to know my business. Right.